Hi everyone, my name is Karin. I'm a professor in astrochemistry at Harvard. And the question I want to talk to you about today is how often are planets formed with the building blocks of life readily available? So we don't know what life would look like on exoplanets. So it's a bit difficult to say what would be needed for that kind of life, but we do know what life looks like here. So we think it's a pretty good starting point to think about what were the necessary ingredients for life to originate on Earth when we're trying to assess how likely it is that other planets have life as well. So here on Earth, uh, there are two main ingredients that seem absolutely necessary for all forms of life. On one hand, water, and on the other hand, organic molecules. We actually know that the Earth, at the very early stage, was rich in this water and this organic material based on looking at comets. The comets are this icy bodies in the outer solar system that we think more or less preserve what the chemistry looked like when the Earth was forming. What is really amazing is that we now have the tools to actually look at the chemistry in systems that are hundreds of light years away where planets are forming right now. We know that planets form uh, from dust and gas uh, in disks around young stars. These are called protoplanetary disks because they are what precede planets. As of a, just a couple of years ago, we have a new telescope called ALMA, which is this amazing, really large telescope down in Chile. Now, what's so special about this telescope is that it allows us to see where molecules are and what kind of molecules we have around these young stars. So let's go back to the original question that I started out with. How often do planets form with the building blocks of life? We only have now molecular detection towards a couple of disks, but it seems like it is exactly the kind of molecules that we would like to see to have the same kind of chemistry that we had on the young Earth where life originated about four billion years ago. I want to draw attention to our recent detection of this key organic molecule or key building block, methyl cyanide. And you can find the paper at the link at the bottom of your screen for that. It's really a story to stay tuned for, but so far so good. It looks like we were not that special at all, at least four billion years ago. Thank you everyone for tuning in and watching this, uh, this short video. If you are interested in other videos about exoplanets and plant formation, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. If you want to know more about my research, then just follow the link at the bottom of your screen, which will take you to my webpage. Find the paper on if you follow the link uh, here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at knowing where the YouTube screen <laughs> was inherited. This is cursed. <laughs>